Hello, gamers of the internet. We're back with Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. I, uh, <laughs> we were very drunk last recording session, so I've actually forgotten most of what happened up to this point. What? Because I've not actually edited the last episode before this one, in this point of time. So, uh, Grossberg's back. Hi, Grossberg. Yeah, I, right? I, I, I vaguely, man, you. I vaguely remember we were, like, doing something to do with the DL6. That's come and back. The, yeah. yeah. Uh, pictures, uh, a lot of heart has now gone to the cops, so she can now testify, which she's bit, maybe slightly too overexcited for. Yeah. Larry's back as Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. 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 I think that's uh, most have we have we so have we far. examined the evidence yet or not? I don't remember if we gave him all the evidence to look at or not. Oh, well, let's go in and find out, shall we? Yeah, let's just present then and see what he says. Also, uh, I forgot to say, but this is a new recording session. This then. is a brand new recording <laughs> session. Or oh, before we present, we should, probably, we should uh, present the drink, the weapon of choice, which is red wine. Red red wine. Red wine, one is red wine pole. sweep in every single pole. Mate, every time we put red wine on a pole, we just sweep. It's very rare for it to ever lose. Mind you, judging by the votes during this poll, it came quite close. Oh, really? What was the... Yeah, it was actually quite equal votage, believe it or not. Oh, wow. Okay. It was between Guinness, rhubarb, gin and tonic, oh, and okay. red wine. Oh, okay. And red wine actually just won. It was ah. quite close, believe it or not. Usually it's a complete sweep, but yeah. it looks like it's fine. Got some competition, so you never know. Mm. Next time it's on a poll, it might lose. But everyone knows that we get fucking hammered on this shit, so I doubt it. <laughs> Speaking of getting a hammered, Ben, yeah. people have voiced uh, a lot of concerns about certain drinking rules that we have. Uh, now, on our lovely One Shot Pub Discord server, yeah. I have established a brand new feedback channel. Yes. And in that feedback channel, I was gathering lots of opinions and uh, thoughts slash concerns on a certain drinking rule in this game. Yeah. We have, I mean, we've not never had concerns about drinking rules before. Yeah. But this one in particular has people going, you should probably not drink to this. Yeah. So, uh, the drinking rules are sacred. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They've always been sacred. They're yeah. very hard to change. We have to jump through a lot of hoops to change them. And those hoops be uh, uh, our prize gamers. Yeah. And drinkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, for this one in particular, I'm willing to stretch the rules a little bit. Yeah. We are attorneys after all. We are. Attorneys we are above the law, are above the right? law. Yeah. So therefore, we have the power to manipulate the, the law. law. Yeah. And uh, so uh, this is to do oh, with, our, with our with our desk slam rules. Yeah. Oh, right? Okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm thinking uh, that maybe desk slam sips only counter. Yeah. When an objection is said before. Okay. So only the double whammies count. Only the double whammies. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. Just to give a little bit of disco and a little bit yeah. of breathing space. Okay. And me as an editor as well. Yeah. Because let me tell you, the worst part of the drinking rules for desk slam isn't that we drink, but is that's hell to edit. I can I can attest to that. When when things get heavy in Pokemon, sometimes it's a bit of an, a ball ache to put the sip counter in all the yeah. time. I have got like a whole row of yeah. numbers, and yeah. when it goes over a hundred. Yeah, it. yeah. It's like you have I've to got to go it. through every single yeah. one and replace all the ones and the hundreds to twos for two hundreds. Where it's I like, don't have to. Oh fuck me, you know. Yeah. I've got to stop what I'm doing. Stop the video and just slap it in there. The, the drink count rule. Where it's not as difficult for me to do that, but like yeah, uh, yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I can imagine that is a ball ache. Because yeah. actual edits that we actually work on, yeah. right? They are actually fun to do. Yeah. And they don't ruin the flow. No. But if it's sip off the sip of the sip of the it's like, oh it's stop and start, stop and start, stop and yeah, start. It and that takes its toll yeah, off. It does, while. it does. So I'm actually quite thankful for this and I am yeah. more than willing to so Ben, yeah. as yeah. lawyers, I think we should now finally uh, do this legit. Yeah. As a real society, as a court. Yeah. So Ben, hand on heart, as we change rule. Okay. But the power invested in me, I declare that desk clam sips are only valid at the following statement of objection, so that the people of the channel can see them knowing that German and one shot plays lies shall be safe and maintained for all to come, under penalty of torture. Nice. Good old democracy. Nice. There we go. Rules have been uh, changed. You may all sleep easy. Okay. And we may all drink easy. 
and yeah. me will may not incorporate another rule to balance it out. But <laughs> I'll, well, I'll see how much I drink and I'll see how I feel. How we go, yeah. Because, you know, oh, I got good growth. things always come with a price yeah. after all. Oh shit, I got a reprise. Mr. Grossberg! I remember that. You can just talk uh, the same as when you were exhausted on the way here. Mr. Gross, Miss Mike, Mr. <laughs> Faye, <laughs> Mother of. M oh, you already a hard one. Come Mother on, Mother of Mia mm. and Maya. Yeah, um, look at that! Show this photograph to Miles Edge. Maybe it's just the drinks, man. I don't know. He'll have something to say to you then. Perhaps I treated you too harshly, Benjamin. Sometimes, uh, but I do get confused with it. And then when you like, I was about to do it the other way, but now it's like, no, wait, that is the wrong way. And my brain like so shit. And sometimes the elusive mayor comes in as well at times. Oh. You never know. Oh yeah, Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, Scotland exists. Yeah. That's just literally. I'm Scottish. <laughs> My apologies. I'm not sure I can help you with that knife. Uh. Oh, brave heart. So oh, this is the moment the crime took place. Yes. Oh, I don't remember eating any corn. <laughs> you can't really say that. For sure, that's Edward. Grossberg's got to go on the subway diet, you know. <laughs> oh, I. Sorry, it's a very oh, fun accent. It is. I'm not it's sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not sure at all. Oh, no, same thing. He can't help him with an autopsy report. Oh. But he can help with cameras. Somehow. So this camera on the lake takes photos. Whenever it hears an explosive sound. I laugh my ass off if we've done all this presenting already in the last part. Oh, yeah. But I can't maybe. remember because I, I can't remember either. Because I was drunk during a legit recording and I've not edited the actual parts. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, if we have, we're really sorry. Just catch up to us now. Is why edits help. That's what she said. And it just happens to be set on the beach, pointing at the lake. Yes, she said it was to photograph shooting stars. Hmm, shooting stars, explosions, what's the connection? I'll be suspicious of this witness of yours. Ooh. Okay. I bet they're a pain in the ass, whoever they are. Oh. You've really grown up in the past few years, my dear. How proud... Maya... No! No! Oh, oh, red wine. That's Shiraz, isn't it? Indeed, it's Shiraz. I yeah, tell her Shiraz. Yeah. Straighter. No, no, Straighter. Would be if she could see you now. She said she was more worried about me than anything. Oh, just go on and take the compliment, will you? Oh, okay. All right. So. Oh yeah, we're done, man. We're done here. I think maybe we already did yeah, that, possibly. Have. So I guess we got to show it to Edgeworth. And no. Oh, we need Edgeworth to is yeah, not yeah. in the right colonel offices. He would be in the detention. He's in prison! Oh, yeah? December 25th, detention center. Visitor's room. <laughs> What's this? I was hoping you got my message the first time. What, with the, the, the steamy love heart? <laughs> no, <laughs> the fuck off, bucker. Uh, Edgeworth just crosses it out. It's just, <laughs> it's just a pout. Hmm. <laughs> Edgeworth, what about your defense? Oh! Shit. Mm -hmm. Huh? I did, oh, I didn't mean to. Show him then. Whoa! What, what the was fuck that? was that? Oh, profiles. I did not know about this. <laughs> uh, oh! Yo, look at that! It I tells that ages it. and shit. Oh shit, Gumshoe's 30. Gumshoe's getting bullied by a 24 year old. That's hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> Lottie's, Lottie's Just hot. like me for real. Lots of heart. 22. 64. Marvin Gross. Yeah, she doesn't look that bad for a 64-year-old. No. I thought he'd be like in his, like, I don't know, late 40s Larry or early Bob's 50s. 23. 23. Robert was 48. Yeah. Uh, 46. 46. And how old is Actually, 17. 17. 
They're not know about his profiles. That's funny. They've got little descriptions too. Oh mm. shit, we could check that out in my last case. Oh no. Very curious out. about Vasquez's age. Oh, oh well. well, we missed it now. It's no concern of yours. Now we know. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Um. Sad music. So what happened? You're going to jail music. And <laughs> oh, can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again, just leave me alone. Nope. Gotta remember that they were good mates in school, right? Yeah, that's right. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough, or because I look down on you. You do look down on us, though. Just because I'm taller. It's not very nice. <laughs> I just don't want you anywhere near this case, understand? My feelings for you are too strong. Why did you go to Gord Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Nor apparently would you tell Detective Gumshoe. Mm. Oh, he didn't like that. Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you. Oh, no. Ah, oh, Gumshoe, my bestest friend in the whole wide world. He makes the best salary cut noises. <laughs> I guess you could present it to him the stuff now. Yeah, we'll go with this. Oh! oh that God. got a reaction. Mmm. Mmm. Because his dad was involved in it. Can I move this? Remember? So it's quicker for me to get my drink. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Mmm. I'm starting to think that Ace Tony has more ellipsis than Dango Romper. I think it does. In all honesty. Honestly, it probably does. Yeah. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Oh, you missed us that much. I understand. Yeah, you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit, I'm impressed, right? You're always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? Ah, oh, justice tunnel vision. The best kind. About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. That's quite a good trait for a lawyer to have, though, being, like, really focused on one particular... Uh, like, it comes with its flaws as well, as Edgeworth has mentioned. And I suppose so, because he can't see outside the box. Yeah, and he's kind of... And not, not going to rag off Phoenix too much. He does see cases through, but he relies on a, he relies on a lot of excess sources uh, to help true, him out. That's true, that's true. Especially Mia. True, true. Especially. But, you know, it's how he grows, you right? Yeah. The more he gets, uh, like you said, like Edgeworth said, the more experience he gets, the more he'll be better as a defense yeah. lawyer. He just needs a lot of backup. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refuse your offer to defend me. Well, now, now you know. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from Deal 6. Oh. So, do you f still think it would be been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Don't take this conversation out of context. Or I like the do. shifting eyebrows, though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, yeah? Okay, I guess? Yeah, you could probably find a goofy face in there at some point. Nah, it doesn't hold a candle to Gumshoe's eyebrow dance, sorry. Oh. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. Yay, we got to open up for us. Hey. A nice one. All right. What's that? I'm in the mood for idle banter, right? Oh... <laughs> would have thought there'd be a photo. Edgeworth, did you shoot him? Shot through the heart, then and you're, you're too late, you give love a bad name. What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, especially not say Merry Christmas. 
Oh man, there's something really effective about that line I can see why the fandom rolls of it so much It is a pretty good line to shoot someone to, isn't it? It's a pretty good pre-mortem line on Christmas Day It, mm. it, it fully encapsulates the feel of the early 2000s Like these corny one-liners But they it, go, were. it goes around to being so corny It that comes back to being fantastic. great again Yeah, yeah. it's great writing <laughs> It's such a Merry good line Christmas, bang <laughs> Iconic <laughs> So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Wait, but we sh you had the gun, so it's quite... Supposedly. Yeah. Mm. The gun was in his hand in the intro, though, yeah. so it's like, what's... Is he lying? What's up with that? Sometime on the 25th or 24th, for who knows. That's a bit of a Your autopsy one. report doesn't know. It never does. That is a bit of a glaring flaw in the autopsy report. I'm sorry, I can't update this autopsy report. <laughs> I'm buying parts. <laughs> I don't have the power. Can't Only in court can I do bullshit like that. I can't think of anything I want to say about that. No, nothing. Oh my god. Your attorney's badge. I can't say I really want to see one of those right now. I've had enough Terry chocolate orange for one day. So, yeah, I'm getting too many calories, right? All right, so try now he'll open up about the deal. Watch my six figure. incident. Here we go. I'm about this. The deal six incident. When my father died. Oh. Oh, what? fuck. He got shot as well through the heart. Oh my god. It looked like a heart shot. I'm just saying. Oh, fuck! In front of him. Right before my eyes. Oh damn it! Yeah, shit. I was just. Right before my eyes. Hmm. Oh damn. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. Oh, so you actually witnessed the death? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's kind of crazy. That would traumatize someone forever. Oh dear. I can see why Edgeworth's got a stake in this prosecution business. But why would you wanna? My memories from that time are foggy. Actually, that doesn't make sense. Why you would go into that sort of? position because you would want to bring down the evil ones. I don't know. I'll have to hear the whole story. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. Oh. Any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. Hmm. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. Okay. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. There was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. Oh. Did he? Hmm. Ah. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Oh, man. So already there's like a little bit of a motive you could suss out on, behind that on, if Edgeworth was the one on, to have killed yeah, him. Yeah, straight up. Which isn't away. great. Yeah. But why now? That's Rex. so many years later, though. So why would Edward do that now? Revenge is a dish best served cold, as they say. <sighs> Get away with murder takes some meticulous planning. Mm. Um, that spirit medium. That was my mum. What? You mean your? Hmm. <laughs> Fate's got a cruel way of bringing specific people together. Ooh, this is getting juicy. Yeah. It's all connected. It's a big one, eh? It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. <laughs> about to end? Oh, what would you mean by that? About to end. The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. That's a long time. So that was back when Edgeworth was nine? Fuck, that sucks. Uh, 15 years ago, on oh, December 28th. See your own parents be sh like shot before your eyes at nine years old would really mess you up. It would mess you up at any age, but especially nine. I oh, mean, I can't for Batworth to be a thing after this case. Batworth. Oh, God, yeah. December 28th. Save Martha. <laughs> Mr. Tutor Limitations, oh. and the case runs out in three days. Oh! Interesting. Okay, so it's about to be cleared. Yeah. What? So that's how many days this is going to last? Um, Nick, uh, what does that mean? When a case statue of limitations runs out legally, the case never happened. That's a really messed up law, though. Yeah. 
I don't, I, it, I know it's a real thing as well, but I don't know if it's that short of a time span. You just put it in the skeleton closet. That's crazy, it though. It never happened. It's you like cold you cases, can't figure right? it out. Who yeah, cares? it's like they go cold. They, they're called cold cases, aren't they? Yeah. Like when when uh, everything's gone cold. That's fucked, though. We have a clear murder, but you've got no proof to get this dude behind bars. There was loads of those back in the old day, though. That's yeah, fucking shit. Cases. Got so bent out of shape, and it's yeah. unreal. Three days from now, DO6 will be closed forever. It's really interesting when a cold case opens back up again, though. That can happen, can't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, it does, yeah. There's loads of shows that are based on cold cases. I guess there is hope. What happened to the suspects? The one who caught Finison? I don't know. He disappeared from the public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old. Oh by my now. god, it's an old man. Yikes. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Hmm. Your Faja. Um, so who is your Faja? A lawyer? You from Holland or something? <laughs> he was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? This. Said it how it is. It's like that meme, this is where my parents were killed. <laughs> yeah, this is where my parents <laughs> died, Maya. Yeah. You want burgers? <laughs> I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Right. Hmm? It pains me to ask you this now. Oh. I know! You want us to defend you! Yes. Will you? No! I really <laughs> want to see what happens. I wonder if you get the same thing where you refuse not to defend Maya. God damn it. <laughs> you got pranked, bro! Just a prank! Right, Nick! I just... Get fucked! I really want to see what happens. Now no one will throw me against my perfect not guilty streak. <laughs> just a prank. Hey, don't look so serious, guys. I was kidding. Haha, <laughs> just a joke. Just a little joke. There was nothing little. Don't joke like about it. I it was funny. Jesus me Christ. too. I thought it was funny. I was gonna say you'd say something like that in a serious moment. Nick, do it over. Yeah, sure. <laughs> How could I refuse you? I'm glad we got that. Thank you, right? Oh, this is my chance to finally pay you back. Oh, oh man, for what? Wait, what? For what? what? What's this? History. Pay him back? I want to know their history. Yeah, I got injury. You know they're in the same class, Give right? Give me the steamy love details. Oh, God. Pay me back. He's the only man who made me feel this way. Oh, for what? I remember ever doing anything for you. <laughs> Real talk, all right? Yeah. Um, uh, so about that unnecessary feedings line. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it's to do with uh, Edgeworth kind of being in a little bit of uh, um um of uh oh what's the work called? Oh god, the wine's already getting to me. What the fuck? I should have breakfast this morning. Oh, you having a breakfast? I haven't. Oh, I've been shit. a bad boy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, good luck. He's in conflict uh, with his feelings uh, about basically uh, getting the right people in jail, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, no, of course. Especially it's... after that shit with Vasquez. Because yeah, know... he, he literally did 180 and started yeah. fighting for the defense there. No, no, I know that. I know that's really, like, probably how it was meant to be. More taken, on the side but, of true justice still... rather than blindly just putting people behind bars and getting that guilty thing as a prosecutor. Yeah. Still, it's funny. But the way it was phrased, yeah, the way like, it was, hot damn, yeah, man. it was very, very misinterpreted. <laughs> Obviously, with no really means, but with a line like that, it is impossible not to have fun with it. Yeah, it's, canon it's, or not, it's like it wow, funny. that's a bit of a, a, a steamy way of phrasing it, there, yeah. buddy. <laughs> yeah, for an eyebrow raise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey yo, I mean, wow. If you yeah. take that out of context, I mean, yeah, I could, you know, ooh, you know, it's always about the and you know, some of the best love stories are. About about the hero and the bad guy, uh, you know, I'm yeah, yeah. Getting, getting too much into yeah. it. I'm not even drunk a lot. For what? Um, 
I didn't say anything. You are about to, though. You're terrible at this, man. You've been so bad at this dude in this game. It's unfucking real. What happened oh, to you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. No, go. Especially with Maya. Yeah. I mean, look, this is a pretty deep game. You can lie, lie down and not talk about it with me if you want. No, I'm all right. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. You don't have to repress your mental feelings. Oh, no, I'm good. You sure? Good. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I'm here if you ever want to talk. Mm hmm. For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Oh, come oh, on! Oh my god, NVM. Damn it. <sighs> Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on! <laughs> my letter of request. Please give it to Detective, Detective Gumshoe. Oh. Maybe it could be for him helping us out during Chapter 3, but also mm. I think it possibly goes a little bit further back than that. It sounds like it's in the past. Yeah, it does. Like way in the past. Yeah. And uh, so it's been established that Edgeworth was in the same class as Phoenix and Larry yeah. as well. I can't imagine those three getting on, though. <laughs> I kind of want so to. Weird. I want I wanna to. see it. That's a great dynamic. Phoenix is a straight man, Larry is the goof, and, and no, Edgeworth is the comically serious. So, yeah. Um, Phoenix is the dork, and Larry is... Larry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, I guess we should... Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Earthquake! It's a big one! Ah! It's coming down! Oh, shit, that was it there. That was scary! Mmm! What the fuck was that? Those random screen shakes. I said oh. that. Did you just woo? No, no I was like, what? Like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't trust me admire anymore. Huh? Huh? Where's Edgeworth? What? what? Did he just. Houdini? Hmm? What's going on? The There. He's on the floor in the ball, shivering. Oh, he's doing the right thing, though. That's what oh, you're meant to do in an earthquake. Edgeworth in the Yamcha pose. That's what you're meant to do in an earthquake, isn't it? You're meant to drop on the floor and like hide under something. Oh, under a table or something yeah. like that. Which sounds really counterproductive considering what's happening, but I guess mm. that's the best way. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but crawling into a ball? Yeah, isn't that the actually the best way to yeah, handle an earthquake? Yeah, I actually think you're meant to hide under cover or something. Unless like 2012 was happening, then yeah, you run. Yeah. Well, I guess we're done. <laughs> Just leave him there. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime, so yeah, you literally got yammed by an earthquake. That's so weird. There's an <laughs> earthquake going on? Oops. I mean, uh, Japan does get earthquakes, right? It's true, it does, but why... Why particularly... Do Plus, this is fictional Japan, yeah, America. It's, it's a Japan and America, I believe, Japanica, also gets... Uh, or, or Japanifornia. Japanifornia. Is what they're calling yeah. it. Let's go, Nick. Uh, well, that's... There you go. That's me. Uh, right. We have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. God, imagine we merge your two countries that you get twice for natural disasters as a result. Oh, man. <laughs> That's man. not great. Shall we look Japan at Japan gets really bad natural disasters. Nick! If you're in a hurry, Miss Edgeworth, we'll get the death sentence! Whoa, okay, let's go check things out. Okay, sorry, my bad. Alright, go give this to Gumshoe, right? Yeah, I'm Which where? means you gotta go to the precinct. Oh, yeah. That's it, oh sorry, 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 sorry. I was. It's, uh, there. Some 25th, priest of Iron. Criminal affairs. Oh! What's going on here? We'll tell you after these messages. Oh, shit. What's wrong, Detective? This old lady comes in here just a while ago. She said she cared to talk y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? I want to vote Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, are you going around finding more witnesses? Oh no. Imagine Dick Gum shoots a good kind of coffin. Oh my god. He, he, he's just the, the bumbling fool who wants to do good but keeps doing wrong. The softball detective. Yeah. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? He's definitely not hard boiled. He's definitely soft boiled. You want to get Ms. Edge with the death sentence, pal? <laughs> no, not at all. 
just... I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, you're trying to say something about the way I do my job? <laughs> I I saw a comment actually when you were uh, you and when we looked at the comments and um, one of the comments was like D uh, Dick Gumshoe like like because you know he's had his salary cut and everything. Yeah. I reckon like they said I reckon he's doing this for free now after how much he's fucked up. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean we've made that joke a lot yeah. in some chapter three, right? Yeah. Like, he's got ad on the CV, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> he's still adding to it. He's definitely searching. For you it. never know. It's just volunteering at the moment. Yeah, he's not even employed anymore. He's just a, a, a volunteer. Like, you just imagine, like, the, the head office being like, what are we going to do about this guy? He just keeps coming in. Like, the big, the biggest problem at HR yeah, is coming through. Yeah, yeah. No, sir. Oh, okay. What it's is just so damn scruffy, man. Oh, so scruffy. We've got low. We gotta do something about Gumshoe scruffiness. But then it wouldn't be Gumshoe if he wasn't scruffy. Oh, All right, here we go. What a conundrum. A lot of testimony. So what did Miss Hart ha say? She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. That's oh, a bit of a assumption. No, so she that has, didn't. So that has kind of fucked us a little bit. No, that's not fair because she didn't see and it. she didn't see it. So it's what's so she on about? It's so far away um, on the bar. It's two shadowy figures. Yeah. What? She wrote a photograph to prove it. But that doesn't prove anything. It's a shitty it's photograph. So far away. You can't prove it's Edgeworth. Right, I saw it too. But you yeah. Really, but you really can't tell from the photo who it is shooting. <laughs> That's. That's. Uh -huh. Damn it, I didn't you were so bad. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. That's just going to make it more pixelated. If you enlarge that photo, you'll just see, like. Pixels. Yeah, I mean, even there, look. She said it'll drop the quality of my, but sure they will see who's who. I definitely won't. Joe, if you zoom into that photo, you won't see anything. Uh, yeah, I, it depends how much red that Edgeworth is wearing, I guess. But even the dark, you don't see, see it. You can't see it. The fact it's so fucking dark, too. You absolutely can't. It's gonna be pixelated as fuck. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna be able to The quality's to sell. gonna dip. But yeah. Not even Photoshop's gonna help with that. Yeah. She can do that? No, because there's no technology that can do that unless you work in the CIA. You'd have to redraw it. But yeah. if you redraw it, that counts as reforging. I'm sure so there's no. like probably technology in the CIA that can do like maybe like face matches. Oh, I don't even know. Or, well, you know, forensics and stuff. But that probably wasn't around have, in. Have I play into it? Or that probably wasn't around during this time, though. Don't know. Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. Just great. So far, so bad. Here you go. She's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. It's just going to be a pixelated Edgeworth. Like God. Proper pixelated. She's going to be a pain in the ass, isn't yeah. she? She's too excited about just being part of this. Yeah, she's feel and not actually yeah. getting into the nitty gritty of did this yeah. man actually do it or not. I can tell. Yeah. I fucking tell. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there's a cancel. What? what? I'm pretty sure you can't. You can't cancel, cancel being a witness. Cancel being a witness. Uh, you can't really cancel if you understand. You can't do that. I don't think. Oh, can you? I got no clue, but it sounds a bit far fetched. Uh, you can just cancel. Uh, a cancellation? Sorry, no. I've got to go feed my dog. And <laughs> Sorry, I can't make it to the market. Yeah, I can't make Even it. Though I'm a key witness. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> We're afraid tomorrow is going to be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. She didn't! And we got a photo taker when the shot ran out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia use to say? If he's innocent, there's got to be something I've overlooked. Sounds like Mr. Edgeworth was going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to follow the paperwork. But you still got time, pal! Don't taunt him again for me, please! You have to convince him! You have to make him let you defend him, please! I know you're the one who can do it, pal! 
You're the only one who can save Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> oh, man. It's literally do it for him, we've got Yeah, sure. oh, bless. God. Oh, do it for him, we've got sure. him. getting better and better every episode, oh, I swear. I, I really like Gumshoe. Man is too fucking loyal to a fault. So, do, have we presented all our evidence to Gumshoe before? Well, I mean, uh, I don't know. Let me double check. I can't remember. Uh, hey, pals, there's so one thing I want to see from you. And that's a lot of request from Mr. Edra for you to be his defense attorney, which we've got. Yeah, we've so, got, so I guess we'll do Straight that. to that, I suppose. Let me double check, though. Okay, yeah, pretty much, yeah, I think. Look what I got. Oh, Paper. That's a massive mint. <laughs> hey, you did it, pal! Bad way until the last minute to find those papers. Now he just shreds them up. I don't need to CV anymore. Ha! Ah. I'll wrap them up and start new ones for you. Yeah, it was his CV. He yeah, was... he'd probably do that by accident. Oh no, I ripped off my CV! Oh no, I don't have the cash to reprint. <laughs> I printed out a hundred of those. Well, actually, no one. He would only print out one. He wouldn't print out a hundred. With those big meaty hands, he could probably rip a hundred at the same time. Oh, <laughs> probably. Well, see you in court tomorrow then. Good luck, pal! Oh no. Do do. Hey! You guys for the earthquake a little while back? Oh yeah. Yeah. I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. So they get them quite a lot over in Japan, California. Yeah, it's just a vibrating chair to Maya. Yeah. Just imagine a high tank to a chair as an earthquake starts, so she's just like. <laughs> Obviously, Garfield wasn't worried about you two for obvious reasons. <laughs> oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little. Oh, man, I really want to see it. it. We just see Edgeworth disappear in this game. Yeah. I want to see him on the floor just shaking. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to go check on him. Garshi's like his dad, it's kind of cute. Aww. Just checks up on his prosecutor's son. <laughs> or his son booties him and it's like, uh, you know, I'm cutting your salary, but actually, uh, cutting your salary is basically translating to saying, oh, I'm going to spoil you with money. Oh, oh. All my money goes to you, Edgeworth. Oh, bless. My son. You two go and eat and go race your tomorrow's trial. Later. Ooh. Wow. You press that button by accident. Yeah, sorry, I was drinking and I had the button. I wonder what it is of Mr. Edgeworth and Earthquakes. Something that stems back to his childhood, maybe? I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in Oh, okay, something's happened then. Okay. Maybe the earthquake happened while his, when his dad got shot or something. Oh, maybe. That would make sense, actually. And again, I only got to know him in the fourth grade. That's still, that's a very long time ago. He transferred to another school after that, and that's the last oh, time he saw him. So he transferred maybe after his dad got killed. Because oh. fourth grade is like nine to ten years old, yeah. and Edgeworth was nine when yeah, it happened yeah, just 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah. So there you go. So that changed Edgeworth's whole life. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Me too! Oh, oh shit! Oh. Here we go again. And with that, the parts are all fucked up again. <laughs> with that, we are. Oh man, shit! Why does this always happen? <laughs> I can't predict when they come anymore. No, it's hard. To... It was so much easier than go on. I for. think it's really difficult with this game because I don't think there's a rhyme or reason. Well, what I'm gonna try and do in the future is actually make these parts sure because I've noticed that a lot of these parts are an hour. Yeah. And I don't know how long people can last for an hour on a visual novel yeah like us because we we're actually playing it but watching well, we it is did a different that story with Danganronpa, didn't we? yeah we, well, we did didn't do an hour. we didn't we do did hours hours were more like 
before minutes. trials and stuff like that. But in this one, it's like uh, yeah. I feel like we should maybe delegate to like forty to forty five minutes. Yeah, so it was about forty to forty five minutes. Maybe we can minutes, make the we court did. cases just slightly look like we can. Yeah, we can afford to make the yeah, court yeah. one slightly yeah, longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's still a learning process. There's still a bunch of this trilogy left yeah. to go through. Yeah. So still learning here and there. Yeah. Oh man, so it's time to go back into court, but without the desk slam rule. No. I wonder how much lighter this is gonna be. I wonder if it's actually gonna be that much like because we've still got the gavel rule yeah we've still got still the objection rule objection still there and if we fuck up that's there as well that's still there i don't think it's going to be that much lighter to be honest the slammer accounts for double whammies now however i'm thinking of a new drinking rule <laughs> but it's not to do the courtroom it's oh. actually to mix it up a little bit in the investigation parts okay i might also tell you it now this will balance out the absolute frequency of desk slams that we used to get okay well, but i am thinking what if uh, the characters talk about food <laughs> That's a good one. They do that quite a lot. I think, I'm thinking that Maya is going to be a big culprit of this. Okay. Because I've noticed that they talk about food a lot. They do. And then we talk about food a lot. Yeah. And because we talk about food a lot, i got to blame it on something. Okay. So Maybe. how about when the cast talk about food, yeah. we take like, I don't know, three sips or something. Okay. Yeah, How's that? Yeah. Fair. That's a good balance. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's Comments? a good balance. Is that good? Food, if food is mentioned, we'll, we'll take three sips. Because they're going to talk about food and we're going to talk about food. Yeah. Sometimes I have a little bit of a sippy sippies as we do our little discussions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Mm, um, what food would be good with wine? Or oh, comments? What would be your? What's your? What food would you love to have with wine? Mine is wine. wine is spag. Wine and spag go well. Wine and spag is fucking so good. Bolognese. Oh, just so Actually, melted wine, it's throwing cheese. wine into and you can mix the, wine. The fact that you, yeah, you mix red wine into the sauce as well makes nice. it nice. That's yeah. probably why I like it so much. Yeah. Get red wine in your food while you're drinking red wine. I heard you have red wine. <laughs> So we put yeah, red wine in your red wine so you can eat red wine while also drinking red wine. Mm. Yeah, red wine bag is mine. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other foods that go well with wine. Um, hmm. That's a hard cheese. one. Cheese. Cheese does go That's well. a French oh, thing. Oh, cheese, cheese definitely <laughs> go well. That's a French thing. Though. Yeah. 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 Sh- sh- charcuterie. Yeah, cheese boards and wine. do go well. It's wine. very nice. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of recipes that have red wine in them. Do, 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 Pasta do, do, do. has red wine in it sometimes as well. Yeah, you think can have red wine in it when you really put your mind to it. True, 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 true. Yeah, yeah. Red wine, popcorn in front of a film. Red. Oh, you. Oh, I thought you meant in the popcorn. No, no, like, no. That's, wait, that's wait, no. That's what, no. What, that's what, ketchup. Yeah. Only, oh, only still, ketchup gets that privilege. That is still. <laughs> don't knock I still it. Haven't tried don't it. knock it till you try it. I haven't tried it. Oh man. Well, we've paid enough for this for you. Right, okay. <laughs> we'll end up here. Thanks everyone. See you in court. Thank you for watching everyone, and here's a special shout out to our Dionysus patrons for your wonderful support. Ace Attorney Fan 621 Blackout Catabag Daniel Taylor Dragonzord 720 Icarus Sinata Kyle Biddings Leah Baggins Naming Master Ned Scribbles Neon Citizen Teal Oku Hair Explosion Princess Peach Ray MXH 36 Richard Sutherland Rilucci Salon Sifrax So good enough near The All Knowing Suave 0909 Trilby True Divination Whiskerfor Windy W Kosaka All of our socials can be found in the links down below. Thank you so much once again for supporting us and have a great day.